In honor of the new Peanuts movie, I thought that this would be very appropriate to review this other iconic Christmas special that has also left a huge legacy among fans of the Peanuts comics and even fans of Charles M. Schultz's work in general, and one that has had a similar legacy with the likes of How the Grinch Stole Christmas and many other pieces of Christmas-related media that preceded it and succeeded it. The very Christmas special that I'm going to review right here is A Charlie Brown Christmas, which had its premiere on television on December 9th, 1965. It was directed by Bill Melendez, written by Charles Schultz, with music by Vince Guaraldi, and it stars the voices of Bill Melendez, Peter Robbins, Chris Shea, Tracy Stratford, Kathy Steinberg, Chris Duran, Karen Mendelson, Sally Dreyer, and Ann Terry. Now, with my personal experience with the Peanuts comics, I've actually grew up, grown up with them, mostly with Snoopy and Woodstock. And I didn't really get exposed to the kids when I was until I was about like four or five years old. But safe to say that my very first Peanuts film was Bon Voyage Charlie Brown, which was basically a very great gateway to really get into the minds of these iconic kids. And it was my very first introduction to the world of the Peanuts specials. And it was a very great one at that. I managed to continue watching that peanut special for quite some time, and I was also aware of the other peanut specials. And the moment I heard that there were a lot of talks about a, a Charlie Brown Christmas and just how iconic it is, and just how memorable it is as a Christmas special, to even the point where there is one Nickelodeon Christmas promo in which the Rugrats have an homage to this Christmas special in particular. So for quite some time, I've been wondering and really thinking to myself, maybe it's high time for this Christmas special to get the review it deserves. And after watching it and after hearing a lot of people say, oh, how great and iconic it is, and just a lot of the positive feedback, I confirm that this is definitely one of the greatest Christmas specials I have ever seen. And let's find out why. Now, in terms of the story, what more can you expect from the Peanuts? You basically have a slice of life, well, um, story of children living their lives and how they see the world around them and how they perceive the world around them, even though they're quite mature for their age, especially the likes of Charlie Brown. Now, in this special, Charlie Brown is very much having a hard time because he feels like he can't really find the true meaning of Christmas and realizes that everything has gone to commercialism and materialism, and he definitely feels that part of him is rather empty, which is rather interesting when all is said and done. And it's quite fascinating as well, because when you think about it, the Peanuts is something that both kids, adults, and even the young at heart can definitely enjoy because there is a lot of smart, intelligent material in this really iconic comic collection. And when you think about it, it does hold up very well. The story is very much well woven, and especially with Linus's speech on what Christmas really means going back to the time of Jesus, it was definitely very great in terms of its story. It may be only like 25 to 30 minutes, but from what I got with this time, I really got a lot of development. I got a lot of really great moments coming out of this, and it was just really, really great all around. So it's really well written, really intelligent, and just makes you think in just a small package. So it's really that excellent in its own standards. Now, when it comes to the animation, yes, at times the animation is quite limited, but what you get is pretty much a lot of colors and just a great amount of color palettes being used. And I really do like the wintry setting, and I really do like the colorful setting of the school auditorium. I really felt that 
every artist managed to really bring out a charm and a likability to the art style. And then with the music, I really love the piano piece and not to mention the iconic Peanuts theme as composed by Vince Guaraldi. And when it came to the final song, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, I definitely was very much enthralled with just how great and down to earth the music really was. And then we get to the characters who are all lovable and have something to root for, starting with Charlie Brown. Now, with Charlie Brown, it's no surprise that every time he screws up, he feels like it's all pointed at him. But despite that, he doesn't give up and continues to strive for what he what he's been wishing for, what he's been doing. And it doesn't matter how many times he falters, he doesn't give up. In a way, I really, really relate to Charlie Brown because, well, to me, I've kind of been like a Charlie Brown myself, and with him, it is definitely someone that I can definitely relate to, and it's really great to have a character that I can have my heart go out to and really, really sympathize with every single time. With Snoopy, he's very entertaining as usual. With Lucy Van Pelt, even though I don't really like her too much, and probably same with a lot of people, she has a very brilliant moment in this Christmas special, at least providing some help, even though there were times that she can be kind of bitchy, but still, she does prove herself to be a very good character all around, and Linus is definitely a very loyal and very wonderful friend. And the same can be said of all the characters in this Christmas special. Each of them has something to offer, something to contribute, and nobody is left out. The voice acting, now before Hey Arnold came to be, the Peanuts specials were pretty much one of the first cartoons to also have children as the main characters or the main voices. You have the likes of Peter Robbins, who voiced Charlie Brown very well. He managed to bring out all of his nuances and all of his all of his mannerisms to a T. Then you have the likes of Chris Shea, who voiced Linus, who managed to make him such a very fascinating and very, very enjoyable character. Then you have the likes of Tracy Stratford, who voiced Lucy Van Pelt, giving off her subtle pompousness. And even the likes of Kathy Steinberg as Sally, Chris Duran as Schroeder and Shermie, Karen Mendelson as Patty, Sally Dreyer as Violet, and Ann Altieri as Frida. Even Bill Melendez as the voice of Snoopy's Snickers. So they're definitely great all around. And even though you do get the feeling that they underact a lot, they still manage to bring some life into their characters. So what more can I say about A Charlie Brown Christmas? It is a definite must watch. It's wrapped up in a neat little package that doesn't really need a lot of fancy schmancy stuff, but manages to have a very good story and one that definitely holds up to this very day, which also makes me even more excited to see the Peanuts movie. With that said, I give this really wonderful Christmas special a well-deserved 5 out of 5 stars. It's a definite must-watch for any fans of the Peanuts or any fans of animation in general. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in later for some album reviews. And first off the chopping block is Charlotte Church, Dream of Dreams. So until then, see you later, everybody.